Um, Tom? Yeah? It's not working. Hi, how's it going? Um, so, the mount. Well, the mount was working just fine until I started shooting something in the north, which I hadn't done before, but since it was galaxy season and there's really nothing else to shoot, I was pointing north. And I noticed in the middle of the night when I got up in the morning, there was some strange stuff in the guide logs. So I thought, well, maybe some clouds came through. I looked at my subs. It was not clouds. So the mount just went all wonky. So I tried it again the next night. Exactly the same spot, exactly the same time of night, same exact thing. Third time, same. So it was a repeatable result. I figured I must have a bad spot on one of my drives. Who'd have thought? Used drive from eBay. Well, anyway. Since I found these cheap drives from China that were brand new for about the same price, I started looking at them. And then I heard about all the harmonic drive makers were going to start making bigger drives. So not to be outdone, you know me. I measured and looked at the specs on the drives and I bought the biggest ones I could find without having to redo my whole mount. They came today, so let's go look. Okay, this is what I received from China. Two boxes just like this. A ring, which I'm not exactly sure what I would do with that. Probably for something else entirely. The drive, fairly monstrous, the wave generator has to go in there so I guess I'll have to learn how to build a harmonic drive, we got some hex head screws, o-rings, other stuff all right yeah. let's open it up and see how greasy we can get i must say it looks a lot better than the ones i'm using feels smooth Lots of awful looking grease. Well, I guess I have to press this into here. My idea is I'm going to take this board with the hole so that hole fits over that fairly. And I'll use my vise to press that bearing in. All right, here we go. Two big old greasy strain wave gears, harmonic drives, whatever you want to call them. So compared, this is what's in my mount already. They're absolute units. There was a size between these two, but I chose this one because this still fits inside of my 5 inch cube on my mount. And if you look here, what goes on the inside of the mount, it's not going to be that much more inside. So, with the 48 tooth pulley probably go this way I'm still gonna be able to 
run the motor in the same place. I may have to turn this amperage on the stepper up just a hair, but these don't feel that much harder to turn than these. A little bit, but I guess they should be because they're large. All right, we see if we can make them fit. All right, here is the mount. Pre harmonic drive upgrade. quick update so I thought I had it all put together the drives fit inside just great so when I started slewing the pulley started pulling into the wave generator like this and it would bind up and stop so true redneck fashion I bought some big washers some needle bearings and I put the pulley against those so it would stay in one place seems to work i guess we'll test it when we get some actual clear skies New improved mount, very large harmonic drives. It's only been three weeks since I got it put together and we finally have some clear skies tonight. So we're gonna test it out. Okay, well, initial testing um, over the last couple of nights, been good. Uh, I've averaged about 0.8 RMS over the nights. Although the first night I kind of got a scare because it went wacky at one point, but looking at the subs, it ended up being clouds because they suck. But then everything went back to normal. I do get one error that says my max duration is too short. So I'll have to look into that. I've just got it set to half of what my exposure just set to because that's what I read you're supposed to do with the harmonic drives. Maybe some of you smart people could look at my guide graphs and tell me what's going on, but I'll continue tweaking. Um, maybe the NEMA 17 steppers aren't quite up to the task of pushing around the size 23 harmonic drives, but seems to slew effortlessly. Um, steppers or the drivers don't overheat or anything like that. So I think they got enough torque. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas that I could try. Next, I'm going to be building a DIY focuser. So stick around for that. Like, share, subscribe. I just hit a thousand subscribers for some reason. I don't know how that happened, but thanks. I also probably have a pretty picture to share with you that I've been shooting over the last couple of nights. So stick around to the end of the video for that. I'll talk to you later, and as always, clouds suck. <laughs>